Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ruben. And today I want to revisit a topic that is very controversial in the dog world, and that is ear cropping, okay? I've made a video about this a while back on the pros and cons. I'm not going to go deep into the pros and cons, but I want to name out some very important pros and cons of ear cropping your dog. Now, I first want to start off by saying that ear cropping has been a surgical procedure that has been done long before all of us has even owned a dog. This procedure has been around long before me and you existed, and I wanna make that clear that it will probably be around long before we're gone away from this earth. So that's something that we need to kinda of accept inside of our society in the dog world. I know a lot of people are against it, and honestly, in my opinion, I'm not really either for it or against it, but i rather have my dogs natural. But it's something that I accepted, and um, I want to talk a little bit more about that in this video. Now, let me lay out some pros and cons. First, I want to start off by laying off some pros, okay? Now, a lot of pros that uh, you're going to hear right now, some people still might not agree with. They're very debatable. One pro that I see is when you're living on a farm or a ranch or you're in some kind of land and you have some livestock that need to be protected, the whole purpose of cropping the dog's ears, the guard dogs that is, they would have that done because they want the ears to be, uh, they don't want them to be vulnerable to getting attacked by the ears, such as uh, an attack or a predator gets a hold of the dog's ears and they start um, lunging them around with the ears and it cause a painful tear and things of that nature. So they crop the ears to avoid any kind of injury in case they're battling some predators that is after their livestock. Another pro is that this will reduce some of the ear infections that dogs have because when you have a floppy ear on a dog, there will be underlining infections and yeast and ticks that go inside the dog's ears that do need cleaning regularly. So the purpose of people also cropping their dog's ears is so that they can reduce the ear infections. Another pro is when you have a dog that is going to compete in the show ring, that will give them a lot more presence inside the show ring and give them a lot more presence in the contest. So that will actually help their dogs in the show ring. Now, this is the way of thinking for dogs that are actually competing and not just, you know, at the home just for show. So those are three major pros that I see dog owners are cropping their ears for. Now, definitely is some cons that I want to lay out right now. There could be surgical complications during the procedure. A lot of dogs do go through this procedure and some of them have complications such as continuous bleeding or trauma inside the ears or a dog stays in pain because of a procedure that has gone wrong. But this is a risk that anybody takes, any dog or person will take when they go through surgery. So you got to keep that in mind. Another con is if you get your dog's ears cropped, you do have to maintain those ears. So you definitely need time. And a lot of owners do not give that time to their dog's healing ears. What I mean by that is they need to be taped up and bandaged and cleaned out regularly for about six weeks. And it takes about four to five months for the dog's ears to heal. So if you do not have the time to give to your dog to make sure they're healing properly, this could be a huge con if you're not there. Another con is if you have children inside the home or if you have other pets inside the home, this could make it very hard for your dog's ears to heal properly because obviously a kid would want to pet your dog's ears and another animal will want to play with your dog. You know, they're very rough sometimes. They might grab on the neck and they might grab on the ears. So you need to have high supervision if you do get this procedure done for your dog and you have a kid or a pet in the home. Now, the third con is they want it just for a look. So it's purely cosmetic. I know the majority of owners of today that have bully breeds are purely doing it for a cosmetic look. Now, I want you to understand the reason why they have this look going on is because it does create value inside the dog. You got to know that dog breeding is a business and there is a lot of money involved inside breeding dogs. So when you have the ear crop, it does raise the value of this dog all right so that could be a con in itself you see uh people doing it to their dogs just so they could get more money you know but that all ties back into a cosmetic look so it's a very touchy subject when it comes to that leave a comment below do you think there is any more pros and cons when it comes to ear cropping i know there's a lot more that i'm missing out i want to hear your opinion now my actual opinion on cropping the dog's ears okay 
Like I said earlier in the video, I am not for it, but I am not against it. And here, let me tell you why. I've seen a lot of owners, a majority of them, doing it purely for cosmetic look. But let me tell you this. A lot of people that do end up cropping their dog's ears, some of them are the best dog owners that I've ever known or I've ever came across, okay? Because they care for their dogs. They're dropping a lot of money inside pet home dogs, not dogs that they're going to breed in a breeding program. I see dogs that are getting their ears cropped purely for pet purposes, but some of them are the best dog owners I know. They're very trained, they're very well socialized, and they have a great health record up to date on shots and their dog is just a good dog you can't knock the owner for cropping their dog's ears when they're doing everything correctly as a dog owner but you cannot disregard the ones that are not doing that there's still some owners that are cropping their dog's ears and it's purely just a business for them and it's purely a money-making move um those are the owners and you know some backyard breeders that we really want to highlight so we could get rid of them, um, but I don't like to give them too, mu too much attention because you give them too much attention, then they're just going to keep doing the bad practices that they're doing. But that is the reason why I'm not completely for it and completely against it. I do want to point out that there is a lot of dog owners that are against it. They have floppy ears and uh, they never believe in any kind of surgical procedure that doesn't need to be done in their dog. But they're just some of the worst dog owners that you can have. Their dogs are not well trained. They're not well socialized. Um, they don't give them time. They don't give them the proper training and tools that they need. They don't set them up for life. They're not up to date on shots. And they're gone most of the time. So, I mean, you got to look at it both ways. There could be people out there saying they don't want their dog's ears cropped and they completely against it. It's inhumane. But the things that they're doing, how they raise their dog that is not trained, I believe that's inhumane as well. Now, there's dog owners that are cropping their ears and people are totally giving crap for it. But they're some of the best dog owners out there. So that's the reason why you can't really judge a dog owner based on just crop in the ears we know that there's complications and there's cons for it and there's you know some pros for it but i can't judge a dog owner on purely just cropping the dog's ears i got to see what that dog looks like in real time real life is it socialized is it aggressive is it uh jumping up on people continuously is it starting fights at the dog park these are things that you got to really keep and keep in mind, keep in perspective, all right? There's some great dog owners out there that are cropping the dog's ears, and there are just some bad dog owners that are keeping the dog's ears. So all I'm saying is the whole point of this video, there's pros and cons to each of them, but I look at overall how is the dog inside the home? Do they have a great temperament? Are they trained? Are they socialized? Are they aggressive? Are they aggressive because of you? You know what I mean? Things like that. So... I just want to know your guys' opinion in the comment section, and please keep it nice and polite. I don't want no arguments down there. I want our community to be a good community. I want positive feedbacks in the comment section. So let me know what you think about ear cropping. I want to know what you guys have to say. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're all about the bull breeds, killing the bad stereotypes, and becoming better owners. I will see you guys on the next video. I'm out.